This is actually just the truth. I need about 5,000 runes, please. Why don't we just crunch them all, man? What are we? We're like 40,000 away right now, roughly. Well, I'm, it's very easy. Start me off with one of these. An enormous abundance. That's pretty good. And then... We, we need another 35,000. Okay, we're hitting diminishing returns. That's fine. This is still pretty sick. Let me crunch two of these bad boys. Let me crunch one of these bad boys. You should help out the community versus this guy. Honestly, I feel like this would be a great summon spot. But I, I also do feel like there's a part of me that just thinks like... If you got here, you're going to crush this guy. Like, Radon is different. There's like little babies who accidentally found their way inside of that castle just running past every enemy. Then they got to the end and there's like either Radon or a misbegotten warrior with a, a crucible knight. And they're like, what the hell? If you made it here, I feel like you're, you, you've probably got a shot. So this is where she wants me to go, I think, right? Like up here? But I, I should also, honestly, I feel like I gotta go to the, the Volcano Manor real quick. Because I went to, uh, I, I killed the dude that they were asking me to kill and just see what's going on down there. No, I already saw him. If you follow, it what cannot. what the hell? I killed I killed the guy you asked me to kill. I killed the guy you asked me to kill. Oh, I killed the one he asked me to kill. Gelmer's Fury. This looks like the logo for Tahiti Treat. That is till we reach the myth. That's it. Plus two. I'm surprised people know what the hell Tahiti Treat is. <laughs> I didn't know that that was a, a, like a known thing. I don't, but it's funny. It was, like a, it was like a sparkling fruit punch type soda. I don't even know if it's still around. Okay. It's still around? Man, I haven't seen it in forever. Like, Tahiti Treat and Five Alive both are just extinct up here, I think. Okay, so here's the thing. She wants me to, like, go over here. But, like, there's a problem. Obviously, the problem is I don't know how the fuck to get there. There's, like, cliffs in the way. You gotta go elsewhere through the castle? You gotta go through the sewers. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. The sewers, because I gotta find this dung lord. That's true. And then also, I've got to... Um... Go to the star. I gotta go to the star that landed on uh, planet Earth. You do not need to go to the sewers. No, but I kind of like want to go to the sewers because I want to figure out what the Dung Lord's doing. You might as well do the Ranny quest. Okay, let's let's do the Ranny quest then. So that's where the star landed, which I was told is near the uh, Deep Sion, or the, near the Celia Crystal Tunnel. It's near Fort Hate, actually. That's what I was going to say. That's what I meant. When I said the Celia Crystal Tunnel, I meant Fort Hate. Don't worry, you'll see it. This this feels like a test. Never mind. It's Fortnite! This is Fortnite, man! 
This is when they blew up Dusty Divot. Like their Dusty Depot, and then it became Dusty Divot. And then there were like anti-grav crystals you could munch down here. Fortnite and Cola. Yippee! Ah, uh, I see. I see. You thought you could fool me, huh? Fool me once, shame on me. Elden Ring was in development when Fortnite released. So this makes sense. I knew Miyazaki, he's got all sorts of crazy influences. You know? Jack the Ripper, um, Berserk, Fortnite. Like, he's a really cosmopolitan sort of guy. Almost fell off. YouTube, homegrown Simpsons stuff. Magic the Gathering. Uh, well, no, there's no Magic the Gathering influence, because if there were, this game would cost $5,000. <laughs> Yippee! Look at that. It's a star. We've entered the star world. The star was a dungeon from Demon Souls, apparently. I just got into Magic, dot, dot, dot. Honestly, I'm being completely sincere with you. Magic the Gathering is legitimately one of the best games ever made. Full stop. No doubt. The game mechanics, the depth of strategy enabled is insane. It boggles the mind to think about, like, A, the design of the game to begin with, but also trying to keep it alive while also... Uh, you know, thousands of local businesses rely on you, like, not screwing up the secondary academy. The only thing... Well, one of... The, there's two reasons I don't play Magic anymore. One of them is that... It's really expensive if you want to try hard. And if you don't want to try hard, people are like, that's fine, just play casually and lose 95% of your matches then. Like, it's, you don't have to spend a lot of uh, money on magic. You could just be okay with losing every time to people who spend money on magic. We're talking Nakron, what? The Eternal City. Uh, but then the other part of it is that it's just so... Like, playing magic at, like, a local game store or organizing, like, a commander night or something like that is just such a huge time investment. Like, it's not like... I, sh I shouldn't say this. I'm not going to say it's a hobby that you can't, like, just play a little bit. But, like, it's a hobby where it's very hard to be like, oh, yeah, I play, like, an hour a week of magic. This dude is a damn bell. Like, people are like, it's not that bad. I just play Commander once a week. Oh, yeah, how long is that? Like, eight fucking hours? You also do meet a lot of interesting people. I met some normies playing Magic, honestly. Like, when we were in the Magic, we we met some, some nice individuals who we, you know, invited over to our house. And we had, like, a, a Magic night. And it was, like, it was really fun. But then also, when it was over, I was like, that was, like, a huge time commitment. That was, like, a... Like, that was, like, my whole Saturday. Hold on, hold on. You, I don't care if you leave. Go ahead. When was the last time you played? Hold on. Go back, like, eight sets. Silver Tear Husk. I think I played a little bit of the set. I played like no Kaladesh. And then I played a little bit of the set that came out after Kaladesh.
I did, I did like two drafts of the set that came out after Kaladesh. That sounds right in my head. It's been a while though. I was in like um I I got into it when Origins came out. No, a I'm trying to think. I can't remember the exact set order. But when I got into standard, it was like Origins, Dragons and Cons of Tarkir. And then it uh rotated, right? And then it was uh was Battle for Zendikar right after that one. I, I played the most during Battle for Zendikar and Shadows over Innistrad. Jumping off. Try down. I bet it works. The Eldrazi Winter. <laughs> oh, and what was the other? What, what came after um, Shadows over or, um, Battle for Zendikar? Eldritch Moon? I played a decent amount of Eldritch Moon. I think that was the set when GP Vancouver happened. Also, you fuckers lied to us. Everybody told us those expeditions were going to be worth mad money, man. People were open. They were cracking more pa packs than I've ever seen. There's more, like, polluted deltas out there than Ken Griffey Jr. rookie cards, you damn liars. People were cracking so many damn packs, they were, uh... It's worth nothing. They got too much supply. Polluted Delta still a $50 card? When it was in standard, it was like a $200 card or something. Wait, maybe it was $200 for a set? I can't remember. <laughs> it's been like six years. Time for weak boss. Okay. Okay, here we go. Honestly, first try. Pay out the believers. Ghost, glove wart, pickers, bell bearing. What? Nice try. I tried the pizza cut. What's wrong with me? I I told you we hit our damn stride in this game. Nobody believed me. But we hit our damn stride. I don't know. We we have I think we have three expeditions. I don't know if we have a polluted delta. I'm trying to think of uh of what they are. This is great backseating, thank you. Hidden path with boss at bonfire. Huge, huge. I would have to guess that it would be right here. You know what? You're laughing. I do think one of them is Prairie Stream. Liar ahead, I've been trolled. Would you ever play Arena? I, I When I'm in the Magic, it like it's like Tarkov, and I'll admit that. But it like seduces you. You're like, yeah, I should totally play like some Arena on stream. Because people are nice. And they're like, some of the people watching the stream would be like, I would love to watch you play Arena. But like, I know what's happening in Magic Arena, like to an extent at least. And uh, even I, if I see that someone's playing arena i'm like it's not my first click i would rather watch someone like eat a popeye's chicken sandwich 10 times out of 10. it's it again great game and i know that some people enjoy watching uh magic and i have played arena in the past but uh it's one of those things where if you see it i'm probably addicted So this is, hold on, I'm, I'm, my, any lore masters in the chat? This is the city that somehow loops back around to, uh, Duke is Turbo? That loops back around to the area where the, oh, I love that shield, man. Uh, where the deer boss was, for sure. I remember. 
It looks the same. Lore confirmed. Because I remember, Blade was like, I don't know how the hell to get up there. And I was like, it's easy, bro. Just get a horse that can double jump. Low three head. With that larval tier, you could change your name to Papa John. I would never glorify the name of Papa John. John Schnatner. Did you know, by the way, I, so I had a, a sentence on Twitter trending topics broke my brain this weekend. And it said, and I'm going to try to read it in my, like, Entertainment Tonight voice. Millie Bobby Brown and Jake Bon Jovi make their relationship red carpet official. So it took me long enough as a human being to know who Millie Bobby Brown is. Because Bobby Brown is a singer who was married to Whitney Houston. Millie Bobby Brown is 11 from Stranger Things, okay? So that first, the, at first I was already thrown on the back foot. Then I was like, this motherfucker's named Jake Bon Jovi? So then I looked up Jake Bon Jovi, because I don't know who the hell this guy is. Is that like a stage name? Then his dad is Bon Jovi. And then I went deeper down the rabbit hole. John... Bon Jovi's real name is John Bon Jovi. To change it for rock music, he removed the H from John, so it became J-O-N. And then he changed his last name from Bon Jovi to Bon Jovi. I went through like so many, uh, I went through so many steps, man. can't fool me tarnished beautiful oh beautiful so true boss seven piece you hearing all this shaking there's like some some skittering whoa <laughs> holy cow you got a heck of a piece on you I'm dead. I'm just falling. I'm, I'm not dead. I'm not dead. Next, you're going to tell us Nick Cage is a Coppola? Well, like, it's like if Nick Cage changed his name to, like, you know, instead of Nick Cage, it was like, my name's Nicholas Kupla. You know, they just took out, like, one letter. It's just very confusing to me. Did you see, by the way? Motherfucker, you fucking suck. Did you see, by the way, that um, the Nicolas Cage movie where he plays Nicolas Cage is actually getting gangbusters reviews at the Tennessee, I mean, Austin Festival South by Southwest? Where is, I don't know where South by Southwest is. It's somewhere, somewhere down there. I believe right now it had, oh, it's in Austin. Okay, I thought so, I thought so. After I said Tennessee, which is not really in the Southwest. I saw that it had like a, like a, an 83 on Metacritic. It's got more content than Civ 5 with the Brave New World expansion. Hello? Boss? Boss, -a? You're just like a cloud. What the hell? Shadow Link. You don't know how to use it. You might have it, but you don't know how to use it. I told you. <laughs> oh, you're sipping? You're sipping? Oh, he knows how to use it. Deserved. This shit like annihilation for real. I feel like Oscar Isaacs. Silver tear mask.
destroyed. <laughs> no one can beat me, not even me. Be wary of no one, including yourself. That mask is busted. I do see people talking on Twitter all the time about how, like, I was having a hard time with this boss, and then I used my mimic tier and destroyed them. So I don't, I don't really know what the, um, I don't know what it does, but it seems very popular. Seek head. Honestly, take a plus one on that. Look carefully. Oh, look carefully. It's a different thing you'll see later. Okay, 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 okay. Time for horse. You know what? Thank you. Yo, this is how we get back to the electric city. Yes, but no. Scranton. Yeah, Scranton. Scranton Wilkes Bear. Oh, thank you. I think that the that larva fell off the edge. Yo, it's a deer, dude. My quarrel is not with you. Try right and then seek jumping. Item ahead, right. Ooh. A dwelling arrow. Thanks so much. Try jumping off. I'm going to be honest with you. Even if it doesn't kill me, I'd rather not. I'm kind of like a guy who doesn't mind just staying on the bridge. Like, we could just go down this way. Let's see what's going on at the end of this. Whoa, buddy. Try jumping off. Nope, I will not. I'll jump off of here, though. Is that... Uh, I see a little silhouette of a map. Uh, okay. I'm going to guess that that's a boss arena where we're going to fight somebody called the Lord of Blood. Long live the Mogwai Dynasty. I was always more of like... Um, like a built to spill sort of guy. I hate to say it, but like even beyond that, I'm I'm actually like more of like uh, explosions in this. I mean, I I would probably have to say that like number one for me would be like Godspeed You Black Emperor. But then like if we're going for post rock to that extent, even though explosions in the sky like is very easy to uh, get into it, like it's not subtle. It kind of like it tugs at your heartstrings in a very base way. I still am like. I'm still into it. Thoughts on Slint? Spiderland, great, great album. Creeping up into the sky. Stopping at the top, then heading down. The girl grabbed my hand. We held it tight. We will say goodbye to the ground. Oh, man. Now that's a classic. What are you doing, dude? This is so cringe. You think you're Elsa? You, yeah, well, or Elsa. Stop singing or Elsa. Or Elsa, you're already dead. You piece. Good one. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, a summoning pool. Summoning pool is now functional. It's kind of like a strand-based game. I mean, you got to peep this for sure. Here, seek something incredible. Turn in to something beautiful. For you, I jerk myself dry. This song always makes me cry, man. Knight's Sacred Grounds. 
Excuse me? Excuse, what, what are you saying excuse me for? You don't like Coldplay? For you, I jerk myself. Oh, great song. Hey, dude, uh, when quarantine's over, gonna have me like, what? What are you doing? A rune arc. That's good. I only have about 76 of those right now, so that's going to be helpful. I'm going to steal that one. That was a terrible jump. <laughs> I'm going to steal that one right from Chad. Lights will guide you home and I will try to piss you. That's a good one. Minus two? Why? I am a streamer. Streamer of content. Trying to farm up some subs. Nobody uses their prime subs. It'd be such a shame for us to par. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. You didn't have to do that. Yo, Aaron, thank you, thank you for the gift of subs. You didn't have to do that. Oh, this, I mean, she's singing. It's got me singing. Dude, I gotta play, some people were talking about Fall Guys. I gotta, or maybe they're just saying this guy doesn't do anything but Fall. But I gotta play that game that Kate was playing, um, where it's uh, it's Fall Guys, but for trivia. It looks a little jank, I'm not gonna lie. But that kind of adds to the fun. Yeah, Survival Quiz City. Silver Tier. Oh, you're dead, huh? So it's like, it starts out and it gives you a trivia question, and then everybody who gets it wrong enters like a chamber of misery where they have to do like an obstacle course while all the people who got it right just like rain down rocket launchers at them and try to take their HP down to zero. Oh, you're not a guy, you're just like a thing. Visions of Familiar, Chamber of Misery. Try jumping. Try jumping. I'm a streamer. I stream my life away. Great, probably the best Ozzy Osbourne song, if you even include Ozzy's uh, career with Black Sabbath. I think that was really... I'm not praising your message if you ask for it. Without a doubt, Ozzy's best song. Just a dreamer. I dream my life away. Look at this goaded message, man. Help me, therefore praise the message. How are your own message stocks? I don't want to talk about it, but I do want to look at it. Didn't expect chaos. I guess there's no scholars. Shortcut ahead, therefore, oh joy. That's That one's doing okay, but that's like, it's... That message was just a, a basic message. The hell? Amygdala? First off, target lock. And then, I don't believe it. Black wet blade. Oh yeah, this is doing numbers. Hello. People actually use flasks by the time they got here? How sad is that? Hey, come back here. Going to get pizza. See you guys in a bit. Here's my impression of what they're doing at Domino's right now. Something like that. Liar ahead. Liar ahead. Incredible. 
There's got to be a grace here, because that's a boss. Probably. Or it's a fog wall, at least. Ranged battle. Beautiful item. Uh, ball? Hmm. 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 Don't whistle like you're Andrew Bird. Oh, it's not a boss. It's a freaking uh, stone sword key setup. Look at this. You better not do anything to me. I just saved your life. Okay. Literally, you were trapped in here. Visions of message, visions of friend. I mean, I don't know. There's a bunch of petrified skeletons here. Mimic tear ashes. Oh, this is what people were talking about. Okay, apparently it summons another... It summons a clone of you. It's the most broken item in the game. And I found it all by myself. How about that? The strongest summon. It makes every boss in the game a damn joke. I look forward to seeing which of my friends debase themselves via its usage. Oh, no! Careful! What the hell? Why is this shit built like a damn pendulum? <laughs> I didn't think it, I thought it would be like Newtonian physics. Instead, it was uh, it was applying its own impulse. It's real and it's fabulous. Miyazaki's orb. Zoop. Now I gotta sing again. Oh, <laughs> you almost caught me singing there. Woo. You literally look like what people are going to spawn in with when this comes out on Game Pass. This is a cool area, though. I'd love to see the lore on this area. I'd love to see an interview with Miyazaki where people ask him if he's seen um, Annihilation, and he says no. Ooh, thanks for the souls. And the flasks. This is dead end. We go down this way. The lore is it's nighttime. Yeah, but like always, you know? I'm not always there when you ball, but it's always nighttime. Name that song. Name that song. You can't. That's Ja Rule featuring Ashanti from Dick Clark's Rockin' New Year's Eve 2022. Whoa! I'm out. I'm going out the damn door. Look at this. this is, you're not a team player. Is that the Elmo slide? Great song. I wish it were, but it, it isn't. Dude, I gotta tell you, so you know I Peloton post every day. Um, I've been complaining about how Peloton has not added any more 30-minute lane break rides for me to gamify my fitness experience. What the heck was that? Well, guess what? They dropped a 30-minute lane break ride this weekend. And it's not even David Guetta. It's 30 minutes uh, high-intensity interval and Hills dance music. And I said, you know what? It's not my genre of choice, but I'm starved for new content. I'll give it a try. Lo and behold, I get 22 minutes into the ride. Guess what they play? David Guetta's When Love Takes Over featuring Kelly Rowland. Shit never ends, man. I don't know if they got, like, a they, they bought a bunch of David Guetta songs at a yard sale and they're just trying to, like, use them. 
I, it's like my favorite David Guetta song, but I'm just, I'm kind of sick of like, anytime I want to do a long lane break ride, I got to listen to David Guetta. Yet they've only got one Alana song and it's in a 15 minute rock riot where I also have to listen to the Black Keys. Shout out to his family. That, that one, they've not used that yet. Ten thousand souls. Have to? I love the Black Keys. I got nothing against them, okay? They're my favorite band that appears in every year's MLB The Show soundtrack. Someone said there's a summoning pool. Summoning pool, summoning pool. Summon summoning pool. I would love a... Uh, a slint Spiderland hill ride. You could totally do it. I don't know. It would be on some of the songs. I think it would be kind of hard to keep your uh, your enthusiasm up. Bang 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 bang. Like when you're starting to sweat it up a little bit, you'd probably be like, "For the love of God, can I just get like some lyrics?" Chill, chill, chill. You're actually like straight out of Undead Berg. That's so embarrassing for you. I have no idea what you're talking about. That's fair. That was a mix of uh, like a couple of different interests. Slint is a, a band from uh, Texas from the 1990s who uh, were some of the pioneers in a genre that's now known as math rock. But also, I would say, like, they're not really that emblematic of math rock. They're more of, like, kind of, like, just a depressed, uh, like, like emo post-rock, maybe, is a good way to describe it. Also, they're from Kentucky. I know I said Texas. Kentucky, Texas. It's a damn giant, man. And then, um... Oh. The Peloton is a, a stationary bike produced by the Peloton Corporation. You can listen to your own music, it's a common question, but the rides are programmed uh, to use the cadence ranges related to the BPM of the, the music that's played during the ride. So I sacrifice my principles. I listen to a lot of Katy Perry because honestly it just hits a little bit different. It hits a little bit different when you're out of breath. Any Midwestern emo rides? I mean, there are some, like, metal rides. That's pretty close, right? No item ahead. Don't say that I gaddafi that giant. I, I understand what that means, okay? Not everyone in chat's gonna understand what that means if they're not dead online, but... That's, that's gross, man. Precious item ahead. Praise the item. What about a Creed Steely Dan ride? The Finger Slayer Blade and the Great Ghost Glove Wart, of course. Um, I there's probably some there's some yacht rock rides, so I bet there is a Steely there's some Steely Dan presence if I had to guess. Ah. But then also, wait a minute. Took me back to the start. That's the quest item. Oh, to give to to Ranny. Peter, go tell Ranny. I would be stunned if there wasn't some creed because there is like some serious shit rides. At least, like, the ride is probably fine. The, the playlist is pure ass. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. What the creed is good? Look, we don't have to do this. We don't have to fight. It's a misbegotten warrior?
Little did you know, Miss Begotten, you don't even scare me at all. Come on, come get a taste. Whoa, he's so strong. You should be the boss, man, and send the other boss out here to be the regular guy. One of these days, man. Well, as soon as I get you in the chain, you're done. As soon as I get you in the chain, it's over. Forgot about that one, honestly. Just being honest. Okay, go ahead, bite me. See if I give a shit at all. Poise. Poise. I'm dead. Officially living. Officially double sipping in this stupid dog's face. <laughs> so speedy. There you go! That's not what you want to do there. I'm going in. I'm going. I don't give a shit. You're done. I bisected you. Dan fought that guy as a boss today. I don't want to spoil anything about Dan's stream, but I do. I'm look. He has persistence. Okay, he's gonna be fine. But I do worry about the pace at which he's making it through the game sometimes, because he was fighting a boss, a boss that I have not seen. So I'm not gonna like. I mean, it, it was just a dungeon boss. It's not like story specific or anything. But he was uh, fighting it. As he hit it, it took no damage at all. Like, it had like a, a lock on health bar. But no, uh, like the actual boss health bar at the bottom was not moving at all whenever he hit it. And he was like, no, just give me one more try. Just give me one more try. And I'm like, dude, I think you're going to spend like like two hours on this fight making like literally no progress at all i think you just gotta go over and hit like that little snaily boy over there i lost all my points on that one that boss has a gimmick he was right what do you mean he's right he's obviously not right I mean, it was... <laughs> when you walk into the boss fight, there's like a little glowing snail in the corner that goes like, oh. Chat just... I, I respect his desire to not uh, have like backseating. But um, chat just like losing their minds. Please, please look in the corner. And Dan being like, I don't want to glance. I'm not glancing. I don't want to glance. And just sending it time and time again. Dying in two hits, sending it. Dying in two hits, sending it. I don't. By the way, any any squeaks viewers in the chat? I don't think I. I think he takes a day off on the weekends. I haven't seen him in a little bit. Did he end up beating Radon? Because uh, I watched him on Radon for a bit. I saw that he was on Radon for like several hours, but. Um, I'm telling you, man, you gotta level, you gotta level your HP. It has to happen. I, you, it's not a resin, I promise. Like, everybody's, we, when you, the first time you run through souls, like Dark Souls, you level HP. You level your red, you level your green. You level your red, you level your green. Then the second time, you're like, well, I know the enemy patterns. I'm never going to get hit, so I'm just going to take 60 strength and go like, haha, bonk, bonk, bonk. Hold on. I want to mess with these guys. But the first time through Elden Ring, you got to... I, well, I think you should play it as if it's your first time playing through a Souls game, because it is. You got to put your confidence and your ego to the side. And I did the same thing, by the way. You got to put your confidence and your ego to the side. And you got to level your, your red, man. I feel like I don't really want you to wake this up, but... Let's give it a try nonetheless. Okay, honestly, good hit. 
speak speaking of leveling dot 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 okay what's your dot 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 for do you do you actually think at this stage of the game sixteen thousand souls is enough to level up how you doing at margit do you need a summon do you need a summon to help you beat the first key boss in the game i'd be happy to we don't need to hit each other with the dot dot dots i would be happy to put down my sign and and give you a password so that i can i can help you progress to the second boss of the game i know sixteen thousand souls it looks like a lot but as the game progresses, it becomes a, a, an increasingly trivial matter. How you doing? Because I can't really pretend to be cool with you. I did kill you. Ooh, Shining Horn Headband? Well, let me upgrade you. You may not be a model, but I can front page you. I know I'm nasty. Excuse my behavior. Let me just taste you. We can frick later. Lil Wayne. Eminem and Lil Wayne. Drippy, drippy, drip. Bars, bars, bars. I honestly felt like I lit up all of the, the beacons. But I see now I have missed a beacon. I was so much more diligent with the beacons this time. I'm very proud of myself. I'm missing but a single beacon. To, to awake this guy. It's straight down on your left. Let's go. Well, it, well you're not talking about this, are you? <laughs> Last one's a little hidden. Guess what? I was a little hidden. That's so how I ended up dominating this guy. Herba. You guys got to get your horns out of your ears. It shouldn't be that easy. Who's this Squeaks guy? Squeaks is a he's a Super Mario 64 streamer. He also plays some Eldan Ring. What's going on under here? Ah, tranquility. All the more time for grass. You know what? Go ahead, take it. <laughs> Very funny. Very funny comment. I'll give it to you. Oh, hello. It had been years since I watched a new streamer. Because I had like uh, three streamers that I watched. Then I hit a dry spell. Because like... I changed my schedule. So Mouth and Dan usually finish their streams before me. So that like that's out of the... That's out of my wheelhouse now. And then I love watching Apollo. He played like maybe I would say a little bit too much Lost Ark for me. Beacon? What the hell? And I was like, I can't watch any. I don't know what's happening. Then I started watching a little squeaks and I was like, you know what? It's like Goldilocks. I was like, this is just right. Just, just right for my 30 minutes a day of being like a degenerate shit poster on Twitch. Beacon. Chib as well, yeah, but Chib also, like, I don't know, sometimes he goes live and he's just singing What If God Was One Of Us for like half an hour straight. And I'm like, I get it. Like, it's a fun bit, but like, what are you doing? What's going on? That's that's the, the both the value, it's the push and the pull of chaos, right? You again. Chaos, it, it giveth some great chip streams, and then sometimes I'm also like, why is he singing this song so much? Hello. Touch horned remains. Perfect. Anyone here want to kill Chaos or just me? I did see that dialogue from that Final Fantasy remake. It seems extremely funny. Oh, no horse. Uh, jump attack, please. Thank you. It's not a remake? I thought it was. Hello, Squeaks. We were just saying nice things about you. But I, I mean, this is not not nice. 
But I was also saying, and I mean this like with goodness in my heart, at some point, you're gonna wanna level your HP. I understand the bravado that comes along with it. I'm just, I mean, obviously, I don't need to tell you it's gonna make your life easier, but it's actually like so critical. I guess at some point, there's almost like diminishing returns because if you've never leveled your HP, I mean, there's like attacks that I have like 40 vigor and I'm still getting one shot by the occasional attack where I'm at. So you got to pump it like 30 times. Maybe you feel like those stats are better invested somewhere else, but I'm telling you, it's a very, very worthy investment. I do also have no armor on, I guess. Well, I, I got some capris. Whoa! Try armor? I really, I gotta worry about my equip load. Even though we keep leveling endurance. Like, carrying these two weapons is pretty spicy for me. But I will, I'm also sympathizing, Squeaks, because Radon is a piece. Like, it's an extremely annoying boss fight. Right, try, try rolling twice instead of just fishing for overhead smashes. Huge hit, though. You're lucky. You're fucked. You're so lucky. <laughs> Pure greed. What the heck? Wish me luck. He just healed the fool because I was too slow. I'm going to die. I'm just gonna get flashed out here, man. Is this gonna win game of the year? I don't, how, how could we know? It's only, it's like March 16th or something. What the hell's going on? What is this? Probably, though. Yeah, I mean, it, I would definitely say it's one of the best games I've ever played. It's got a good shot based on, you know, if we extrapolate the average output of a, of a year in gaming. I'll just be dead. Blue, fly, blue fire, huh? No sweat. Bro, I can see your blood. Just bleed. Terrible choice on my part. Go, oh, Ed, you motherfucker. I'm not scared of you. I'm not scared of you. That's why I got Sorbitol in my pocket. Super auto pets or Elden Ring? Uh, luckily, I don't have to choose because uh, they came out in two different years. I thought I died. He's healing, isn't he? You gotta interrupt that. We gotta pull an interrupt on that one. Honestly, just kill me. I'm okay with it. I accept it. I, I earned it. You earned it, I mean. That's a new one. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> He earned it. He got me on that one. It was a war of attrition. Or he turned it into a war of attrition, at least. He turned into a pizza cutter himself. Nice try or whatever. Wow, wow. What's it like to use frostbite sorcery? Wow, you use hoarfrost stomp? 
Wow, okay, sorry. No, I just thought I was going toe-to-toe -to -toe with somebody that was honorable. I did, I loved the uh, post on the subreddit that was, this guy reminds me of NL, no offense intended. And it was like the, the potion seller style Elden Ring video. I, I can't even remember any of the, uh, what was said. But I, I just want you to know that I saw it and I loved it and I took no offense. Can you just rush me? Oh, look, it's the Tarnished arriving in the clown car with all his babysitters. Yeah, I'm sure the people of Landau will accept this person as their Elden Lord. No, like, it's okay. Yeah, it was it was just very good. It was a very funny, very funny video. It's not bad. No more. No more! Faded. Nice heal. You could have taken that time to heal. Instead, you got greedy. Okay, I got greedy. Why not try out the Mimic? Um, based on the fact that everybody in chat says it makes every boss fight for the rest of the game trivial, I decided not to get in my own way of having fun with the game I'm enjoying. Does that answer your question? There we go. Just try dodging three times, you little greedy so-and-so. Try dodging one time. He's healing. He's healing. I'm dumb. He's healing. Whatever. We, we hit him on the dome. That's extremely good. Let's go! Actually such a scumbag move. Oh, buddy. <laughs> Come on, just get... Give me that bleed trigger! Are you kidding me? How the hell are you still alive, man? I had him dead to rights! Oh my god. I got so greedy. I was sure that was gonna be it. <laughs> No, oh, it did that should never have counted. We'll take those. Remembrance of the Regal Ancestor. Sick. That's pretty sick. Hey, you know what? Any items? Any items? I don't think so. I guess I'll get my souls back. Go use the remembrances. I This is not with no negativity in my heart. I don't know what a remembrance is. I know what a great rune is. I don't know what a, what a remembrance is. It's a boss soul. I could crunch that in a heartbeat. There's also still a secret boss in this area. Okay. A secret boss. Was it there? I gotta go back and go back to the front, don't I? Or go back to the top. Northeast by the Yellyfish. Okay. I, uh... I did kill a dragon in here at some point. I did kill a dragon. I'm not sure if you recall this. Please let me know if you see how to get back to the start. It's right there. No, I, did, I didn't kill a dragon. Like, look, it was in Nokron, but it was before I knew what Nokron was. It's northwest from the bonfire. Okay. 
Northwest from, from, I'm assuming, the ancestral woods. Up here, of course, to the northwesterly direction. Why didn't you say so? See ya. No problem with you. I have no problem with you. 